recently I had one of those moments of weakness where you pop into Mac for one thing and you come out with a load of stuff. The good news is I picked up two of some things to give away to you guys. I recently hit a quarter of a million subscribers which is one of the most exciting things I think that has ever ever happened and thank you so much if you are watching this and you have cared enough about my videos to hit the subscribe button because you have no idea how happy that makes me and how much it has changed my life but I'm going to talk about that a little bit more at the end for those of you who clicked on this because you want to see what I bought in Mac um, and I'll get to the giveaway stuff at the end of this video. There's a lot of boxes in here and it makes it look like I bought way more than I actually did which is giving me guilt. By the way sorry if the lighting is really really weird I have got really strong sunlight coming in which is great but at the same time I have something bouncing at me and I can't figure out what it is. There's light somewhere and it's hitting something and I give up. So I'm gonna start off with talking about what I've got on my lips right now, which is one of my favorite new lipstick discoveries in a very, very long time. And this is actually, and I covered the influenced purchase because I was on FaceTime to Alex the other day. If you don't know who she is, I'll link her channel in the description box. Um, but she was showing me a few things that she had bought from MAC and I could not help but run out and pick this up because this is the most beautiful lipstick I think I've ever worn. It's like a corally, pinky, reddy, orangey, bright, but it's not really, really red and bold and in your face. It's just so, so beautiful. I should probably tell you what it's called after that. It is Tropic Tonic and it's one of the matte MAC lipsticks. Um, I think it's a newer one that they've introduced into the matte line and it is just, absolutely stunning. I really, really, really love this. I'm so happy they brought this out because there's just nothing else like it in the matte range and it's just so beautiful and I'm definitely going to be getting my wear out of this. I feel sad that it didn't come out at the start of the summer or I didn't discover it at the start of the summer. I don't know when it actually came out. Oh, it's getting bright in here. I'm just going to roll with it. I might be looking like a ghost right now, but anyway, I can definitely see me getting a lot of wear out of this over the next few months and I think it might have to be part of a kind of birthday themed makeup tutorial. Let me know if you would like to see that. So this and the next item are one that I picked up two of for you guys. And the next item is a lip liner and it is in the shade What A Blast, which is just a gorgeous kind of really bright corally orange colour. And I just had no lip liners that were like this. And I have a lot of lip products that are kind of pinky, bright but they're not super bright so I can't use a red underneath and I just had nothing that was kind of like a neony corally or pinky colour that was appropriate for a lot of my lipsticks so I'm so happy that I have this because I think it will come in super handy for all of the um, coral lipsticks I have and for my new lipstick. So those are the two that I have picked up two of so stay tuned until the end that's not all I'm giving away but those are two things I picked up from this haul for you guys but moving on to the next lipstick I picked up this is another matte one in the shade dangerous which is so pretty I just love this I have to give it a little swatch it's a beautiful kind of bold pinky red and mm, smells so good I love the smell of matte lipsticks but yeah, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous colour. I'm so happy that I have something like this because I really feel like I've been lacking kind of pinks and corally pinks in my collection. So I'm so happy that I finally got my hands on this and you guys recommended this so many times in my MAC lipsticks collection video, which I filmed. I'll link that in the description box in case you haven't seen it. But I asked you guys to suggest um, some new MAC lipsticks for me and this was one of the ones that you guys suggested a lot and I'm so, so in love with this one. It's really, really pretty. So whilst I was in MAC having that that little spendy lipstick moment I also had to pick up an eyeshadow because it would be rude not to right and I picked up one that I've been looking at getting for a really really long time which is Naked Lunch and ever since I started collecting MAC eyeshadows and lipsticks I've always gone into MAC and had my eye on this one I've always swatched it and always thought it was really pretty but not anything special enough to buy and recently I've just been lacking a lot of the neutral kind of pretty champagne-y neutral shades so I decided to pick this up and it is just the most gorgeous kind of champagne-y shimmery colour. It's not too shimmery but it's got a nice kind of satin sheen to it which I like and I just find that neutral nude colours like this really brighten up my eye because I have brown eyes I find that you either have to go kind of smoky and quite dark or you have to go quite bright if you want to open up the eye lock and this is just one of those colours that is perfect for that and I got it just in the pan because I decided that I was going to start 
a MAC palette. <laughs> so this comes in two parts, so you get the case and then you get the inner bit that goes inside it. It even comes with a bit of cellophane over the top that you get to peel off, so I'm gonna really enjoy doing that later because that is one of the most satisfying feelings in life, is peeling the plastic off of something. When you get a new TV or a new iPhone, it's just one of my favorite things to do is peel that bit of plastic on, but leave it on for a couple of days so that it's just extra satisfying. I am aware that that might be such a weird thing to say, but I don't even care because I just love plastic peeling. It's like when you're a kid and you peel glue off your hands, you paint your hands with glue just to peel it back off again, you know? So yeah, case and then inner bits just goes inside like that. I'm not gonna do it now just in case I do it wrong somehow and then I'm on camera looking like an idiot, but yeah. Case and thingies that go inside and I've got a lot of my MAC eyeshadows that are in their pan anyway now and the little quads are great for traveling but just a bit annoying when I'm trying to store all of them. Um, so I thought that I would just get the big 15 one and I can swap them in and out as and when I need to. So my little naked lunch eyeshadow is just gonna sit in there Look, nice and happy, that's my first one. I literally cannot wait to fill this up. I think that's gonna be my afternoon sorted after I film this video, even though I have a ton of stuff I should be prioritizing over that, but this has gotta be filled. So now it is time for the giveaway details, which I'm so, so excited to do. I've never done a giveaway before, and I just thought that this would be the perfect occasion because this is quite a big milestone for me, and I just wanted to say thank you um, for subscribing and just do a nice, thing for you guys. So this is kind of what I thought I would do. So those two MAC items are going to be in the giveaway along with a bunch of other goodies that I've kind of been collecting over the past few months. Ever since I could kind of see this moment coming I was like okay I'm gonna start kind of picking things up. And I'm gonna be running this giveaway by Twitter and I know a lot of you are gonna ask why I can't do it via YouTube. And that's actually because in my network guidelines I'm not allowed to run giveaways via YouTube. You're not allowed to ask people to do things on YouTube in return for a prize. So I have to run this by Twitter. I hope that's okay with you guys. If you don't have Twitter, you can just make an account and you never have to use it again after if you don't want to. I'll put all of the details in the info box below, but what you have to do basically is retweet the tweet that I put a link to in the info box and make sure you're following me on Twitter. And then I will pick someone and I'll put all of the deadlines and everything in the info box below so that you can see. Make sure you're following me on Twitter because that is where I will announce the winner and I will message you via your Twitter inbox. So make sure you keep an eye on that. But that is it from me today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you are new so you don't miss any new videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.